Hi, this is Rashid Kapoor from Reveal Resources. In this series, we're going to share 10 business growth strategies which, should you implement, will help you double or even triple your revenue and profit. We know this because in our 15 years experience coaching businesses in over 40 different industries, we've celebrated these successes with our clients time and time again. So let's get down to it. Strategy number one is that you have to constantly market your business. Marketing is not something that comes naturally to most people. And it's a trap that we see many, many business owners fall into. Let's look at why. You love what you do, you're good at it. So you want to spend the majority of your time doing the business of whatever, delivering whatever it is you do. It's normal. Why else would you have got into the business in the first place? So you spend the whole time working on your business, doing the technical work, fighting fires, sorting out delivery, worrying about staff, the list goes on. But who's bringing in the clients? Who is the rainmaker here? So no matter how good your business is at delivering, unless you can successfully attract, convert, and retain good quality clients, ultimately you'll fail. So your number one job as a business owner should be working on marketing systems to bring in a steady stream of new business. And all your marketing activities should be focused on one thing and one thing only. Motivating good quality prospects to call you. One simple rule we try and inculcate in all the businesses that we work with is that you're not in the business of technically producing whatever it is that you do. Whether you're a financial planner, an accountant, a plumber, a health professional, it doesn't matter. Doing the technical work is actually not the business that you're really in. You're really in the business of marketing a business that does that technical work. And until you make that mindset distinction, you will always struggle with a feast and famine syndrome of getting a client, getting a few clients, uh, getting stuck into the work, not doing any more marketing, and then when those clients, for whatever reason, move on, then you suddenly madly scramble for the next set of clients, and you will never actually grow your business doing that. Think about the way you buy. Do you generally respond to cold calls? Or do you go out and research various products and services, look at reviews, look at what your friends might be doing uh, before making a decision? Well, 94% of your prospects do exactly that. They're going to go out, they're going to research you, they're going to research products, they're going to research other suppliers before picking up the phone and calling you. Therefore, it's imperative that you have a lead generation and nurturing system that gets your name out there so that when a prospect is looking for a particular type of solution that you might offer, your name comes up and that you give them enough information that they can do that research so that when they're ready to buy, they choose you. Remember another simple rule. A prospect who finds you and calls is twice as likely to do business with you than somebody that you find, cold call, reach out to. Therefore, implementing a lead capture and nurturing system which gently educates your prospects, keeping them, name, keeping them warm, keeping your name in front of them, while they move down the sales funnel doing their research until they're ready to buy, which could be reasonably quickly or it may take a long time, depending on the type of product and service that you actually sell, is absolutely critical. And it is something that we will go into in more detail further down in this series. So look out for the next episode. Until then, this is Rashid Kapoor.